Hello there, my name is Sam as always. I hope you're doing well and thank you so much for coming to this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install VST plugins inside of Adobe Audition and then inside of uh, the NCH WebPad. Of course, these are the two softwares that I've been showing you how to make DJ name drops on. And if you don't yet know how, please check the links in the description down below. I'll be taking you to those videos where you can be making your DJ drop names by yourself. All right, so before you get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. And then if you've been there before, I want to say thank you for keeping around. And please make sure you check out the membership program, which is on and running to enjoy some things that are not seen here by non-members. Let's get started. All right, so right now we are inside of Adobe Audition and here I have this thing loaded. But of course, right now I'm not making anything like a drop. I just want to show you directly how to install VST plugins. I'm also going to give you some VST plugins in, in the Telegram channel that is in the link below. If you're not yet a member there, you'll check it out. I'll put the link in the description down below. But I already have my VST plugins installed. I have it in program, I mean in C, in program files. And then I have it in common files. I have some VST2 inside of this folder here. And then I also have some VST3 inside here. So just make sure you choose whatever works. I also have some other VST plugins down when you come to stain back here and VST plugins. So I'm going to be picking the VST plugins, especially for Adobe Audition from down here. All right, so in Adobe Audition, please make sure you go to effect. And then right now, if you check here, you don't see any VST plugins showing. So we're going to go to audio plugin manager. Uh, this window here will pop up. This window here will pop up where you can see the directories that you already have. So you can decide to add a directory here. I showed you these two directories here. This is where my, my plugins are installed or extracted. So I already have these plugins scanned, but for you, if you are doing it for the first time, you might not be able to see this. So you'll say scan for plugins. So you'll have to wait for it to finish scanning in a bit of time. And then I'll come back after some time. All right, so we are done scanning here and you've, you've seen all these things showing up right now. You should be able to see this. So you just tap on enable all and then say, okay. So when you go back to effects, you should be able to see VS plugins showing up here. So this is one way you can do it and that is the only one way you can do it inside of adobe audition so let's check it out for the wave pad as well all right so we are inside of wave pad here and uh, you, you you can have them still under effects but you can't see this vst active so this needs you to first load some file in here but also without doing that you can go to this menu on the on the top left then come to tools come down to options so here you'll come to vst then here you have these are my directories added these are my paths if you don't yet have it please you'll have to say add path and then you'll select where your vsts are extracted so i would come to program files and i'll come to common files and i would come to vst2 right and then here i would say select folder so this would come to the list here so when you say OK, the next time you want to load VSTs here, you should be able to see them, right? So that is just it. That's just how it is done. And if you don't know, if you don't have the VSTs working, you can still go up there and then come back to Tools, come back to Options. When you come to VSTs, you'll come to Recommended Free VST Plugins for WebPad, right? If the VSTs you have are not working, please check out this. It will take you to a free link where you'll download all these VSTs and then get them to work. Please, that's how it is done in WavePad and that's how it is done in Adobe Audition. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up for this one. If there's any comment, please let me know. I hope it was helpful, so please make sure you subscribe because I have this content coming. If you don't know how these softwares are used, I showed you tutorials on how to make DJ drop names, so please make sure you check out the links in the description down below. I'll see you in the next one.